All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And this is here, Shalom, to all the eye game out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, I want to go in on this topic. Uh, this guy uh, from uh, ISUBK, you know, is real proud of the uh, 501c3 that uh, ISUBK holds, you know. And, um... Basically, I'm going to go in, I'm going to show the, the topic, or, or show what the guy wrote. Um, his name is Shaka War uh, Bang, Bang, Bang God, Gad, I mean. Uh, so basically, hold on. It says, uh, Shalakia, if y'all can't see it. It says, uh, we feeding brothers and sisters with that 501c3 so they're acknowledging that uh isubk has a 501c3 right it says and we still on the block telling the white man he the devil lol isubk had a 501c3 status even when your daddy tahar was still in the truth what the fuck is you saying so you know these guys, I don't know if this guy knows what, what a 501c3 is, you know, but obviously he's very, very proud, you know, in this 501c3. And I have an article, you know, on what a, a 501c3 uh, basically is. Uh, it says, <clears throat> most churches in America have organized as 501c3 taxes and religious organizations. This is a fairly recent trend that has only been going on for about 50 years. Churches were only added to Section 501c3 of the tax code in 1954, right? We can thank Senator uh, Lyndon B. Johnson for that. Johnson was no ally of the church. As part of his political agenda, Johnson had it in mind to silence the church and eliminate the significant influence, significant influence the church had always had on shaping public policy. Although Johnson pro-offered pro pro this as a favor to the churches, the favor also came with strange attacks, more like sackles. One need not look far to see the devastating effects 501c3 acceptance has had to the church and to the consequent restrictions placed upon any 501c3 church. 501c3 churches are pro prohibited from addressing in any tangible way the vital issues of the day. You know, so they don't go in on like a, a, a lot of topics. It's, it's like a lot of these other churches out here. They don't go on in a lot of these topics, you know. So how are you speaking the truth, you know. But I'm going to continue. It say for a 501c3 church to to openly openly speak out or organize in opposition to anything that the government declares legal, even if it is immoral, e.g. abortion, homosexuality, etc., that church will jeopardize its tax-exempt status. The 501c3 has had a chilling effect upon the free speech rights of the church. LBJ, you know, Lyndon B. Johnson, was a shrewd and cunning politician who seemed to well appreciate how easily many of the clergy would sell out. So I should be getting sellouts, you know. They don't speak on a lot of stuff. They try to say that faggots can come into the congregation, you know. It says, did the church ever need to seek permission from the government to be exempt from taxes? Were churches prior to 1954 taxable? No. Churches have never been taxable. To be taxable, a church would first need to be under the jurisdiction and therefore under the tax and authority of the government. The First Amendment clearly places the church outside the jurisdiction of the civil government. You know, so these guys, this this guy is very proud, you know, of, of a 501c3 and claiming that they have um, the truth. When it's like they don't even go in on the topics of today, you know, and it's and, and, and it's many other things that ISUPK goes off on. You know, they they allow non-believers 
into their con uh, Passover. You know, the Passover is a very, very important, you know, uh, holy day, you know, for Israel. You know, they allow non-believers in it. Um, these guys, they, 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 they had a cookout on, on the new moon in the, in the, uh, Friday to Saturday Sabbath, you know, they had a cookout, you know, that's against the, the scriptures. Um, they, uh, like I said, they allow faggots into their congregation. You know, they believe that, uh, general Yohanna, you know, uh, is, is the, 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 the way to, to, to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Um, they, they wear all black. You know, wear su sunglasses, you know, they born horn you to death, you know what I'm saying? Whereas though, if you went up there to ask them a, a sincere question, you know, you can't even uh, debate, you know, go back and forth with them because they just going to bore horn you to death, cut you off, you know, and there's many occasions where they done did that. They edit videos, you know what I'm saying? If you go up there and you, 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 uh, you, you try to debate with them or, or, or whatever, you know, they'll edit that whole part out to try to make it seem like, like you was just a straight demon or whatever the case may be. You know, these guys are not sincere. You know, whereas though if they ever came up to a GMS camp, you know, we'll sit up there and we'll try to, 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 to answer that question, you know, sincerely, you know, we're not going to bore horn them to death. You know, we don't even have bore horns, you know? But these guys are, are, you know, very proud. They're not sincere. And it's like they, they're, they're going in on the, 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 the sunglasses. I got a, a, a scripture for that. Um, this is Proverbs 28. 20, I believe it's 20, 28 and 27. It say, he that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, you know? So it says, if you go, if you give to the poor, you know what I'm saying, you shall not lack, you know? This this guy clearly says that uh, ISUPK is feeding this, the, their brothers and sisters from off of um, this 501c3, you know? That's against the scriptures, you know? It say, he who, who gives unto the poor shall not lack. So if a guy comes up, you know what I'm saying, and they not... Uh, that into the scriptures or whatever, and they want to ask a, 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 a sincere question, they're going to bore horn them to death, you know? Be and, 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 and that shows you that these guys are not men of the Lord, you know? But here go the, the, the key point right here. I say, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. You know, them wearing them sunglasses and stuff like that, that's not the way to go, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't even see what, what whatever these guys are sincere, man. You know, so that's the that's the main thing. You know, that that this guy tried to say that um that according to Deuteronomy the twenty second and twenty eighth verse that the word lay hold means to entice and uh, seduce a woman. You know, that's the same thing that Allah's always saying. You know, trying to water down the scriptures. You know, these women never had uh any say so on whether or not they was going to deal with a man, you know what I'm saying, what, that was, that was up to that man, point, you know what I'm saying, what the, 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 what the, if the man wanted that woman, you know what I'm saying, the man would have to do what it, what it, what it, what it takes to get that woman, you know what I'm saying, and that's just as simple as that, the woman don't have no say so in what goes on, you know, and, 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 and they can't understand that the Lord put that in there for, you know, for a stumbling block for, for people, you know. And they stumbling right over that, you know, because they're not men of the Lord. They don't understand that. It wasn't given to them, you know. And I don't want to go, uh, uh, had this uh, a long drawn out uh, video, you know, but this is just, you know, the, the, the show that these guys are not proud, you know, or, or that they are proud, Salakia, and that uh, if you are a sincere brother, you know what I'm saying, if you are the elect, you're going to get it, you know, but these guys, they're not sincere, you know, and, and, and as you, as you can see, this 501c3 is not the way to go when you're dealing with this truth, you know what I'm saying? How are you going to be trying to, uh, say that the white man is the devil and that America is this, that, or whatever, but you hand in hand with them, you know? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to y'all by some y'all side. And this is Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity.
and truth and sincerity. Because these niggas definitely not a part of that. You know, and the Lord going to start killing these niggas, man. Shalom.